Ukraine's dogged resistance and counterattack have clearly demonstrated that an invasion attempted can be fought back with asymmetric methods. Taiwan will be using a similar template if it faces a Chinese onslaught and is taking steps in that direction. Taiwan invited the media to an exhibition that showcases several indigenously developed, uncrewed assets. The drone exhibition was hosted by the National Shengshen Institute of Science and Technology NCSIST. Viewers may note that NCSIST is a Taiwanese government-owned military technology manufacturer and has been responsible for developing a range of weapons for the Chinese military like the Songfeng anti-ship missile and the Yunfeng supersonic cruise missile. In the exhibition, two specific systems received special attention, Tang Yun, which resembles the MQ-9 Reaper, and the vehicle launch Chen Sang loitering munition. The capabilities of the Tang Yun include signal relay, electronic parameter reconnaissance, electronic interference, day and night aerial picture surveillance, and reconnaissance, and have been covered earlier. Please check the video on the above card. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how Taiwan's new Shenzhen loitering munition could be lethal for China. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. NCSIST provided an especially rare look at Sheng Tseng. As per NCSIST, these indigenous, anti-radiation, loitering munitions are designed to take out enemy radars positioned at sea, on the coast, or inland. Loitering munitions fit in the niche between cruise missiles and unmanned combat aerial vehicles UCAVs, sharing characteristics with both. They differ from cruise missiles in that they are designed to loiter for a relatively long time around the target area and from UCAVs in that a loitering munition is intended to be expended in an attack and as a built-in warhead. Anti-radiation weapons are designed to detect and home in on an enemy radio emission source. While anti-radiation missile is commonly carried by specialist aircraft in the suppression of enemy air defenses. SEAD role, Shenzhen is designed for standalone deployment. NCSIST also claimed that Shenzhen can strike other unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs. It is not disclosed how this will be done. It is likely that it can home in on the emissions of a rival's drones and destroy them. Shenzhen was first seen at the 2017 Taipei Aerospace and Defense Technology Exhibition without its official designation and its vehicle-based launcher configuration was then unveiled in the same event in 2019. Some specific details have been revealed when Taiwan government-owned news outlet Focus Taiwan covered the press briefing by Xi Li Ping, who is the head of the NCSIST's Aeronautical Systems Research Division. Shenzhen is 2 meters wide and 1.2 meters long and features an anti-radiation payload. Shenzhen has a reported top speed of 185 kilometers per hour. Shenzhen has a maximum flight time of 5 hours and can strike targets approximately 621 miles or 1,000 kilometers away. While the control architecture is not disclosed, the munition is supposed to move to a predefined location and attack a target. It is designed in such a way that if the drone were to lose its signal while en route to a target 
that it could instead loiter in the area for an undisclosed amount of time while waiting for the target to radiate again before locking onto the emitter and completing the strike. Shenzhen can also work as a decoy and can potentially be equipped with an electronic warfare package for stand-in jamming of enemy emitters. It could also be used to strike non-emitting static targets with predefined GPS coordinates. Xi claimed that all 12 Shenzhen drones can be launched at once in a cluster without the need for a runway thanks to its mobile launcher. While NCSIST has said that it's purely coincidental, Shenzhen is extremely similar in form and function to Israel's AIA Harpy. Viewers may note that Israel pioneered this loitering munition concept, which is now proliferated around the globe. China is separated from Taiwan through the Taiwan Strait, which is about 100 miles or 160 kilometers wide. China will have to move its forces across the strait in case it decides to invade. Such an amphibious operation will not be an easy one. Droids and loitering munitions could be particularly useful in this situation. The war in Ukraine has already underscored the importance of drones, with both sides in the conflict deploying reconnaissance as well as attack drones of different types. Shenzhen seems like a perfect weapon for Taiwan. The system can launch from different locations of Taiwan's main island in a shoot-and-scoot fashion, and being transportable, it could even be shifted to outlying island installations when needed. Fixed ground-based launchers, or those carried aboard the Republic of China's Navy surface combatants, can also purportedly deploy the Shenzhen drones. So, the drones could be dispersed and would be very hard to take out with preemptive strikes. She said that the production and delivery of 104 Shenzhen munitions are projected to be completed by the 2025 deadline originally set by NCSIST. It's likely that more will be serially produced. It's evident that Taiwan is clearly taking measures to ramp up its drone capabilities and is making sure the rest of the world, along with China, knows about it. Subscribe for more videos like this, hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.